This is the story of two of the biggest stars in the world. The father is Woody Allen, writer, director, actor. The mother is Mia Farrow, his co-star and mother of his three children. Mia reportedly has a video of their daughter Dylan explaining how Alan molested her. In HBO's documentary series Alan v. Farrow, filmmakers Kirby Dick and Amy Ziering chronicle Dylan Farrow's allegations that her father molested her at the age of seven. We have put forward a four-part series with evidence, with eyewitnesses, with corroboration, with testimony, with police reports, <laughs> with drawings and diagrams. I mean, this is not something we spun or yarn. According to the documentary, Dylan Farrow's molestation allegations were central in the custody battle between Woody Allen and Mia Farrow in the New York State Court in 1992. Though the court ruled in favor of Mia Farrow, Allen was never prosecuted for sexual abuse. Speaking to the filmmakers, Dylan Farrow says throughout her life, her personal accounts have been eclipsed by the star power of her very famous father. Dylan says she still lives with the trauma of abuse. I mean, I worshipped him. He was so funny, and he made me feel so special. That's where things get really, really complicated, because threaded throughout all of those good times, there was a lot more going on. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Alan has fired back at the filmmakers calling Alan V. Farrow a hatchet job for omitting his perspective. The filmmakers told VOA that Alan declined to be interviewed. We would have welcomed an interview with him if, if I were him and I really had wanted, I would absolutely talk to everybody if I felt that I, there was a grave injustice being done. Cynthia Fuchs, who heads the film department at George Mason University, says in recent years there has been a number of investigative documentaries that revisit decades-long public allegations of sexual abuse by powerful people. I do think that that's part of what the documentaries are doing now. They are picking up cases that have been repressed or have been suppressed, I should say. So. And, and to, in that sense, they're, they're important. A good example, she says, are Kirby Dix and Amy Ziering's previous exposés. The 2012 Oscar-nominated documentary, The Invisible War, about systemic rape of women in the military, was watched at the time by members of Congress and Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta, who subsequently made policy changes of rape prosecution in the military. The pair's 2015 Oscar-nominated film, The Hunting Ground, opened up the conversation of sexual assault on college campuses. More recently, Fuchs says, the documentary Surviving R. Kelly, which features a number of women making allegations of abuse against the famous musician Robert Kelly, prompted investigations of Kelly, who now faces sex-related charges. The documentary Untouchable, The Rise and Fall of Harvey Weinstein, renewed the Harvey Weinstein sexual abuse allegations. The disgraced film producer has been sentenced to 23 years in prison for rape and sexual assault. I'm all for consequences culture. This movement to have people more accountable for their actions um, I think is a really good and healthy one. Kirby Dick says documentaries on sexual abuse, such as Alan V. Farrow and others, are informing the hashtag MeToo movement. It gives solace, it, it gives support to other survivors who may or may not choose to speak up, adult and children. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington. Ready?